let us now solve few numerical problems on speed control of dc series motors let us now solve example 1 a dc series motor is operating from 220 volt supply means v is equal to 220 volt so this supply voltage v it is 220 volt it takes 50 ampere and runs at 1000 rpm so current drawn by the motor is 50 ampere and same current is flowing through armature as well as series filled winding because both are connected in series the resistance of the motor is 0.1 ohm means ra plus rse is equal to 0.1 ohm total resistance of armature circuit is 0.1 ohm if a resistance of 2 ohm is connected in series with the motor so if a resistance of 2 ohm that is r controller it is connected in series with the motor calculate the resultant speed means we have to calculate n2 if r controller is equal to 2 ohm if the load torque is constant that means in both the cases load torque will be constant so ta1 is equal to ta2 so here in the first case ia1 is 50 ampere and n1 is 1000 rpm if a resistance of 2 ohm is connected in series with motor we have to determine the speed n2 now here the torque is constant means ta1 is equal to ta2 and therefore ia1 must be equal to ia2 which is equal to 50 ampere and same current is flowing through the field winding and therefore phi1 is equal to phi2 let us now calculate the back emf in the first case that is eb1 so eb1 is equal to v minus ia1 into ra1 v is 220 minus 50 into 0.1 so which is equal to 215 volt similarly we can calculate eb2 now eb2 is equal to v minus ia2 into ra2 v is same that is 220 volt ia2 is also same that is 50 ampere but now ra2 is different because a resistance of 2 ohm is connected in series so initially the resistance of armature circuit is 0.1 ohm if 2 ohm resistance is connected in series now the resistance will be equal to 2 plus 0.1 that is 2.1 ohm and therefore ra2 is equal to 2.1 so solving this we will get eb2 as 115 volt now we know the relation between n2 and n1 n2 upon n1 is equal to eb2 upon eb1 into phi1 upon phi2 but in this case phi2 is equal to phi1 because ia2 is equal to ia1 and therefore n2 upon n1 will be equal to eb2 upon eb1 so substituting the values we get n2 upon n1 n1 is 1000 eb2 is 115 and eb1 is 215 so solving this we will get n2 as 534.88 rpm means if a controller resistance of 2 ohm is connected in series with the motor the speed will reduce from 1000 rpm to 534.88 rpm if the load torque is maintained constant let us solve next example a dc series motor runs at 1000 rpm so here n1 is equal to 1000 rpm when taking 20 ampere means ia1 is equal to 20 ampere at 200 volt means supply voltage v is equal to 200 volt so here the supply voltage is 200 volt 
and the motor is taking a current of 20 ampere armature and series filled winding resistances are 0.5 ohm and 0.2 ohm respectively means ra is equal to 0.5 ohm and rse is equal to 0.2 ohm so resistance of armature is 0.5 ohm and resistance of series filled winding is 0.2 ohm find the speed means we have to calculate n2 for a total current of 20 ampere means this total current remains unchanged and it is again 20 ampere but in this case when a diverter of 0.2 ohm is connected in parallel with the series filled winding so in this case a filled diverter of 0.2 ohm is connected in parallel with the series filled winding and therefore armature current will remain same but current through filled winding will change because some current will flow through the diverter out of the total current now it is given that flux for a filled current of 10 ampere is 70 percent of that for 20 ampere means in the first case the current is 20 ampere now if the current is reduced to 10 ampere the flux is 70 percent of the original flux means flux for a filled current of 10 ampere is equal to 0 0.7 into 51 now first of all we can calculate the back emf in the first case that is eb1 so eb1 is equal to v minus ia1 into ra1 now here eb1 is equal to v now v is 200 volt minus ia1 ia1 is 20 ampere into ra1 now ra1 is without diverter so in this case it is armature resistance plus series filled winding resistance so 0.5 plus 0.2 so substituting all these values we will get eb1 which is equal to 186 volt now in the second case a filled diverter of 0 0.2 ohm is connected in parallel with the series filled winding now if a diverter resistance is 0 0.2 and series filled winding resistance is also equal to 0 0.2 then if the total current is 20 ampere 50 percent current will flow through series filled winding and remaining 50 percent current will flow through the diverter so in this case the diverter current i shunt will be 10 ampere and current in series field winding is also equal to 10 ampere because total current is 20 ampere so a current of 20 ampere out of which 10 ampere flows through diverter and 10 ampere flows through series field winding now if the current in field winding is 10 ampere then the flux is 70 percent of phi 1 and therefore phi 2 is equal to 0 0.7 into phi 1 now we can calculate the combined resistance of series field winding and field diverter because both are connected in parallel so equivalent resistance of this combination will be equal to resistance of diverter into resistance of series field winding divided by sum of two resistances and therefore it is equal to rd into rse upon rd plus rse so it is equal to 0 0.1 ohm so resistance of this combination is 0 0.1 ohm and it is connected in series with armature armature resistance is 0 0.5 ohm so total resistance of armature circuit will be 0 0.5 plus resistance of combination 
that is 0.1 so in this case the resistance of armature circuit in second case is equal to 0.5 plus 0.1 that is 0.6 so now we can calculate the back emf in the second case that is eb2 eb2 is equal to v minus ia2 into ra2 so v is same ia2 is same but now ra2 is 0.6 and therefore eb is equal to 188 volt so the back emf is changed from 186 volt to 188 volt now we know the relation between n2 and n1 so n2 upon n1 is equal to eb2 upon eb1 into phi1 upon phi2 and phi2 is 0.751 so substituting all the values n2 upon n1 n1 is 1000 is equal to eb2 is 188 divided by eb1 eb1 is 186 into phi1 upon 0.751 so substituting all the values and solving we will get n2 as 1443.93 rpm means if a field diverter of 0.2 ohm is connected in parallel with the field winding and keeping the torque constant the speed will increase from 1000 rpm to 1443.93 rpm let us solve example 3 a 250 volt dc series motor so supply voltage v is equal to 250 volt is drawing 35 ampere ia1 is equal to 35 ampere current drawn by the motor it is 35 ampere when giving its rated output at 1000 rpm so n1 is equal to 1000 rpm its resistance is 0.5 ohm means resistance of armature plus resistance of series field winding ra plus rse is equal to 0.5 ohm find the resistance which must be added to get the rated torque at 800 rpm means we have to determine the resistance of controller so if a controller resistance is connected in series with the motor then the motor should run at 800 rpm and again the motor should give its rated output means the torque in both the cases is constant that is ta1 is equal to ta2 so we have to determine r controller for n2 is equal to 800 rpm and ta1 is equal to ta2 so here ta1 is equal to ta2 and therefore ia1 must be equal to ia2 which is equal to 35 ampere and as the same current is flowing through the field winding phi1 will be equal to phi2 now we can calculate the back emf in the first case that is eb1 so eb1 is v minus ia1 into ra1 so v is 250 volt minus ia1 is 35 ampere into ra1 so resistance of armature and series field winding without r controller it is 0.5 ohm so into 0.5 so we get eb1 as 232.5 volt now we know the expression between n2 and n1 so n2 upon n1 is equal to eb2 upon eb1 into phi1 upon phi2 but in this case phi1 is equal to phi2 so these two fluxes phi1 and phi2 are equal so n2 upon n1 is equal to eb2 upon eb1 we know n2 and n1 
we know EB1, we can calculate EB2. So, substituting the values, N2 is 800, N1 is 1000, we have to calculate EB2 and EB1 is 232.5 volt. So, solving this, we get EB2 is equal to 186 volt. So, in the second case, the back EMF must be equal to 186 volt. Now, we know the expression for EB2. So, EB2 is equal to V minus IA2 into RT, where RT is the resistance of this entire armature circuit, that is RA plus RSE plus R controller, that is nothing but RT. And this EB2 is equal to 186 volt. So, V minus IA2 into RT, that is 250 minus 35 into RT, must be equal to 186 volt. So, we can solve this and calculate RT. RT is equal to 1.828 ohm. Means, the resistance of this entire armature circuit must be equal to 1.828. But, it is equal to resistance of this armature, that is RA plus RSE, plus resistance of controller, that is R controller. So, armature resistance is given as 0.5 and RT is equal to 1.828. So, substituting these values, we will get resistance of controller, that is R controller is equal to 1.328 ohm. So, if a resistance of 1.328 ohm is connected in series with the motor, the speed of motor will drop from 1000 rpm to 800 rpm and the output of motor or torque of motor will remain same, means TA1 is equal to TA2. In our next video, we will study the necessity of starter and different types of starters used for shunt and series motors. Thank you.